Welcome back to Bahati Life YouTube. I'm Jessica Alexandria. I'm the head witch and creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. It is so good to be able to sit here to pull cards to connect with you and see what's going on for this absolutely spectacular Pisces full moon that's going to be happening September 20th at 7.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So as I'm filming you guys, I do want to give you a heads up. We have some amazing storms that are about to roll through the area. I don't know about you, but I love a storm moment. And I was just talking to someone that is going to be a guest on the Hobby Life podcast. For those of you guys that don't know, I have a podcast. <laughs> I'm like literally the worst when it comes to advertising things. But someone said just yesterday, I got a comment of someone saying, Jess, I wish you had a podcast. And I was just like, it's weird because I do. <laughs> But yeah, she's going to be a guest on the Bahati Life podcast show, whatever you want to call it. And we were just talking about, you know, having a sense of calm and different tools that you can use in order to center and ground yourself, especially in the world that we're in right now, the time of in history that we are at in the current world right now. And it's going to be a really intense conversation but it's very needed and you guys know you're in good hands with me and we are going to make sure that we give you all of the details from an astrological standpoint and perspective so that you have nothing to be afraid of and everything to empower you and embolden you as we move into the future because it is going to be absolutely amazing especially if we do it together okay that also being said i am i've begun channeling messages for 2022 and um, they are definitely coming through very powerful and I've been channeling every single morning but let's talk about this Pisces full moon shall we so one thing that while I was getting ready one of the messages that came through while I was getting ready is is spirit has really come forward and is asking very clear, ringing as a bell. Are you honoring the body as a temple? Okay, there's, regardless of what is happening in the world, regardless of what is happening in your world, you must honor the body. You must honor the body. The body is your chariot. It's going to help you to fulfill your purpose. It's going to help you to show up. It needs to be strong, it needs to be capable, it needs to be grounded, it needs to be centered. If the physical body is not being cared for and tended to, then it will bleed and impact all of the other bodies, the mental body, the emotional body, the spiritual body, because all of those are also connected. The other thing that was really coming through for the Pisces full moon already is this idea of, or this message, this image, this this key that spirit wants to give you which is starting now starting now where have you grounded or rooted your faith into where is your faith being rooted and grounded and centered into if you do not have a firm foundation when it comes to your spiritual beliefs it's going to be really easy for you to get caught in the wave the tsunami of energy that's just getting tumultuously thrown around as the world itself is kind of getting shook up. This could be a metaphor for the entirety of the world, our experience while we're here on Earth, but it also is very symbolic of your own personal world, your own intimate life. If you are not grounded and rooted within your own spiritual beliefs, whatever they are, anything can trip you up, anything can suck you in, anything can pull you out. And I find that such an impactful and important metaphor and message because Pisces full moon, you know, Pisces rules the ocean, right? It's ruled by Neptune, the god of the ocean. So, and with the full moon, the full moon brings the waters up so high. This is not a message to freak you out by any means, no. It's meant to actually act as confirmation and clarity to what the majority of you guys are already picking up and sensing anyways. So I do want to talk to you guys in more depth about where we are headed, you know, in the future, not in a way that's going to give fear or anything like that. If anything, it'll give you faith, but that, that will definitely be more of the details of the 2022 ebook 
Um, but for right now, I just feel the full moon, the Pisces full moon is something, there's a catalyst that happens there. I've reached out to the majority of my friends, the majority of my family, um, and, and also on my Instagram, Bahati Life, just kind of telling people, you know, just keep your, keep your prayers strong, you know, um, make sure that you're connected to the divine. And also there's no rules with that. The thing with Pisces energy too, and part of this message is inspired by the astrological chart, but the majority of it is inspired by my morning meditation. Spirit is coming through so clear. There's no way that I could look at it any other way or have question on this. I mean, I feel so, I feel, I feel close to God period, but I feel closer to God. And the, 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 the forefront of my mind was to go and to connect immediately. And I wasn't planning on that. I wasn't expecting that. So I do feel like the timing of the full moon is, is so strong, so strong a message of spirit is wanting to connect with every single one of us. Even as I'm saying that spirit wants to connect with me, I'm also understanding how we are all connected, how we are all under the same umbrella of energy and under the same wing of the divine. And there's no rules to that. It doesn't look any one way. It looks what is comfortable to you, but you are meant to be grounded and have a firm foundation when it comes to your spiritual sense and to continue to check in with your own intuition some of you guys i'm really getting the strong sense that you look for these external messages you look for these external confirmations for things that it's like spirit says why are you looking everywhere else but within why are you looking everywhere else but within come back to your center come back to the root and if that root is not strengthened how can you yourself be strengthened also at the same time take care of the physical body honor the physical body you were given that body for a reason to fulfill a purpose a massive purpose here on earth without putting pressure on you but if you are not honoring and nourishing the physical body how far can it take you before you have this purpose, but it's limited because you're weak, because you're folded up, because you're in pain, you know? So really honor that. Everyone's going to be different. Tap into your own messages of what that looks like for you and really, you know, stick with it. So Pisces, as you guys know, is actually highly connected to the spiritual realms. It's highly connected to infinite love from the divine that spirit is always pouring into us and wants us to receive are you open to receiving it at the same time the physical body keeps coming through so your spiritual body feels very receptive but receptive to what the physical body is receptive but to what spirit is calling you at the time of the full moon to be very aware or you will be made aware of what you are to, what are you are allowing your energy to be too accessible to. Uh, cigarette smoke is something that just came through. Um, people might be smoking or smoking weed or something that you're intaking that you allow yourself to ingest. You allow yourself to inhale. You allow yourself, you allow it to be in your body. It's like breaking past the barrier. Spirit was you were created as a human being, you were created with all these barriers to prevent, to protect you, to make sure that you're healthy, to make sure that you're vital and strong. And at the same time, you're inviting in this person, this energy, this presence, this food, this toxic substance. You're the one that you've opened the door to allow it into the body, which is literally designed to protect you. Why? And this is why spirit says, to bring it back full circle at the, under the light of this full moon in Pisces, we want you to see and look around at how imper important it is to protect all of you. We cherish you. We value you. There's also this space of this message of how you are so much of service to other people or so much in, involved and engaged in other people's stuff to the point where it's like you're neglecting the spiritual health, you're neglecting the emotional health, the mental health, the physical health. And spirit says, use this light of the full moon to come back and to honor the body as a temple, all the bodies as a temple, value yourself. I'm also hearing the, I heard the word balance, balance and boundaries. Um, and with that, 
with balance and boundaries, sorry guys, I'm listening. With the balance and with the boundaries. Mm, okay, so it feels like, I heard the word tidal wave, but it's not from external stuff. Um, it's not from external environments. You guys sometimes allow yourself to get distracted by what's going on in the world, the noise at the outside world. And spirit is really wanting you to pay attention to the intimate, your intimate world. And I was going to say that it's a distraction, but spirit is saying it's not a distraction. It's this, you know, the emptiness, this black hole sometimes that we have in our spirit. That black hole is not a bad thing because that black hole is very powerful. It acts as a suction for what we attract from what we pull into our lives. But if we are attracting, if if we're not uh, observing, if we're not aware of the black hole that's in our in our spirit body, um, when we attract and we pull in, we'll allow anything in, and then we spend so much time trying to fix trying to soothe, trying to convince, trying to make work, trying to force, trying to, you know, conjure and console and to, you know, nurture this other empty thing. And it's going to make that black hole, which is not a bad thing. It'll t turn that black hole's hole even bigger, even stronger of a section of things that are like-minded. Meanwhile, Spirit is saying, please acknowledge where this black hole stems from, what it is that you are currently opening up and suck, sucking into your spirit right now. Because the universe is responding. I'm getting this really strong message that the universe is responding to the black hole within your being, to the black hole within your essence. If you are aware of spirit message, and I also, when I say that I heard the word humble yourself, you know, submit yourself, like, submit yourself, bow down, bow down to your higher self. For some of you guys, you are so strong in, in your resistance to spirit, you're so strong in your resistance to the divine, because you feel like you've been betrayed by spirit, but you actually haven't, you've been betrayed by others, you've been betrayed by humans, and that's why you now reject God, that's not, that's why you reject the truth, that's why you reject your intuition, because if that was the case, if this was something that I could trust, if this was something that was protecting me, why would I have been led, led astray in this way? Why would this have happened? And Spirit is saying, this is why we want I want to meet you in the black hole. This is why I want to meet you in this black hole because when I when you look for me and you sit within the the, the tornado tornadic energy, I will sit with you and I will reveal to you your truth. It's so important that you go and seek the divine. It's so important that you go and seek spirit because no one can tell you and it will make no one can tell you the message that will resonate so strong to your truth that it will literally change your life forever. No one can tell you that. Maybe they can and maybe it'll change you or change the rotation of, you know, how you move in some way and how you feel and how, but in order for you to experience it and to create it and to connect with it yourself, that will change, not, that'll change everything and it'll be unquestionable. And it will also set the foundation for everything that is to come, for how you will continue to connect with spirit and how you continue to connect to the divine. And it's so important that you do this for yourself. At the time of the full moon, my loves, you you really want to be connect, trying your hardest. Um, there's this really strong message with um, having patience. Um, and spirit is telling me right now, it's, you know, your ability to have patience with yourself, your ability to have patience with the divine and how it comes through for you is, is really more a message of your ability to be compassionate and to have grace and to have trust and to have faith. If you can't be patient, if you're rushing the outcome, if you're rushing the answer, it's, it's forceful, it's punishing. And at the same time that as I'm saying that, some of you guys are like, well, I haven't heard from spirit. It's like, you know, sometimes ignorance actually is bliss. And sometimes you not hearing is everything that you need to hear and everything that you need to know. And sometimes that is the highest level of protection that can be aff afforded to your life at this moment in time. Like it's like an honor, a medal, your actual ignorance, the fact that you don't know. And this is where this space of humble yourself, submit yourself, come back to the higher self. 
needs to be recognized and needs to be a revelation for you right now, a revelation of truth. That's going to be the highest message as I'm pulling this chart, as I'm pulling pulling the cards, as I'm pulling it, you know, and connecting and sitting with the divine. There, there needs to be a level of hunger, the same hunger that you have, the same feverish hunger that you have to go running to people to give you confirmation and clarity and to confirm and to speak worth and value and to give a prophetic message or to tell you how much they love you or to tell you how much you mean needs to be the same level of hunger, feverish hunger that you have to connect with your higher self. Why don't you trust yourself? Why isn't you enough? That is what this message of the full moon and the sign of Pisces is going to be about. I understand that there's going to be a million people on the internet that are going to tell you they are going to tell you what you think that you need to know. They're going to tell you all these different messages. And each one of them can lead you in different paths and different directions. Fine. But when are you going to see them as human beings, myself included? And when are you going to bow to spirit when are you going to bow to the divine when are you going to bow to your own intuition when are you going to honor your own intuition and trust that and put that first because what's going to happen when the world starts to shake up a little bit more what's going to be happen when you can't connect to this person when you can't hear their message when it doesn't give you hope where are you going to pull from that source where when what how it is not my intention ever to lead anybody astray. It is not my intention to ever come on here and clickbait and to promote myself or to say that I'm the all of, you know, never. I've never said that. I never make promises that I can't keep. I have to adjust, of course, accordingly. But I've always said to you guys, and I definitely say this to my Sacred Circle Tarot School, your wisdom and your greatest the thing that's going to give you the greatest value is going to be your own wisdom, your own intuition, your own relationship that you build with divine. And under the light of the Pisces full moon, Pisces rules the spirituality. It was, it rules divine love. It rules divine compassion. It rules the un, unknown, the subconscious, the, 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 the portal of incredible healing, incredible love. But in order to get to that, we have to, in order to get to the truth, we have to be open to it. We have to be understanding of it. And we have to be aware. Um, I don't want to... Everyone's message at this time for the full moon is going to be different. Um, because every single one of us are under the same energies, of course. But we're getting pulled in different directions. There's different paths that we have to walk. I honor your path just as much as I honor my path. And... We're all walking these paths together, and I'm going to cross paths with you guys, clearly. <laughs> clearly our paths have crossed. Thank God. I love you. <laughs> Shout out to you. <laughs> Shout out to us. Shout out to we. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but I respect you. I respect your gift. I respect your vision. I respect whatever it is that you're going to hear, whatever it is that you're going to share, whatever it is that you're going to know. I want to hear that, too. But more than that, spirit wants to see you strong in that. Spirit spirit wants to see you solid in that. I didn't even look down at my cards. Having looked down, looking down at my cards, we have the emperor here, we have the lovers, we have the tower card reverse, we have the judgment, nine of coins, two of wands, ten of wands, page of swords, four of cups, eight of swords. And the base of this deck is the death card. And some thunder rolling in the distance, which is absolutely beautiful. I love that. You guys know I talk about relationships a lot, but it's not just relationships between two people. It's relationship between you and your higher self. It's you and your career, you and your work, you and your friends, you and your diet, you and your lifestyle, you and your chickens. <laughs> I have chickens for those of you guys that don't know. What are you aligning and what are you harmonizing with? Let it be, let it be the truth. Not a vision of what you wish it was. Let it be the truth. What if I told you that you can trust every, any, any ending, anything that was called out of your life or pulled out of your life or pulled into your life? 
What if I told you that you could trust it as a lesson? What if I told you that you could trust it as a door? There is a reason why it entered into your life. And when you observe that everything is temporary, what is, what is the core purpose of its entering into your life? And what if I told you that it's okay and good and safe for you to surrender it as it is? Meaning you don't have to change anything about it. And that you can trust and have faith and feel solid and stable in what it was and what it gave to you and what it provided for you and where you're at now and where you are going. Especially with this Ten of Wands card here, that skull, it's not a bad thing. Especially with the iris here. I have irises all around my home. They were here before I got here. And you also have the death card here. They were here before I got here. But they, oh, and the two of cups. I love that for us. I really do. There is such an awareness and awakening and a truth and a message that is going to resonate so strongly with your spirit. I want you to receive that. Especially with the lover's card. Who, what, where, like what are you connecting with? What is that black hole? What is it pulling into your life? It's a truth. It's a revelation. With the Four of Cups here and the Eight of Swords, you know, it's okay sometimes to be scared. It's okay to be scared, period. It's, it's, it's okay to not know. But this is when Spirit says, come to me and hear my voice. Because when you're in these places and when you don't know or when you're manifesting or when things are taking off, you will have this sense of a, awareness in your body that says, I know I'm in good hands, and that's not wishful thinking. It's actually the truth. You're in good hands when you ground and you root yourself into the heart of the divine, into the heart of the higher self. From that, anything will grow. But we want to make sure that you are protected. We want to make sure that you're nurtured, nourished, and that whatever is growing here is fertile and futile. No, fertile and not futile and conducive to you, your growth, your path, your blessings. There are so many blessings here. Spirit wants you to look around for them. Are you looking? What are you looking for? What are you looking towards? Direct your eyes to the spirit again. Cuz that black hole doesn't need to be a not, doesn't need to be a curse anymore. It doesn't mean, need to be a hindrance. It's actually a portal, a door that's opening. If you allow it to be. And that is going to be the firm foundation. That is what you're going to be harmonizing and aligning with. Anything else was just a moment. It was temporary. It was a lesson. And it got you to where you're at right now. Thank God. I love you guys so much. The candles that I highly recommend are the Healing Water Candles. Um, the Healing Water Candle and also Higher Wisdom Candle. Both of those are in the Apothecary as we speak right now. Um, and also the Herbs herbs and oils to help you. I will not be making a Pisces oil for this upcoming full moon. Yeah, this five of cups here is here about healing and rebuilding and replenishing and re-nourishing. Okay. I know this message was a little heavy maybe for some, but I, I hope that it was restorative more than anything. Okay. Um, I love you guys and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye. You were created to live a life of magic, abundance, love, and blessing all of which will be up to you to call into your life with perfect divine timing. Bahati Life Apothecary is the magical home of Jessica Alexandria, where you will find a wide variety of mystical items to help you to manifest your heart's truest desires, as well as tools to help you tap into your unlimited spiritual potential. Browse the online apothecary and find hand-fixed candles to magnetize your intentions towards you, You'll find thyme and star-soaked conjure oils charged to anoint your petitions, your body, and personal magical items. You'll also find the highest quality of herbs for creating your own potions and concoctions, and even reserve time and space with Jessica Alexandria herself, who will work with you to create something special and truly yours. Each item found within the apothecary are created with intention in alignment with the movement of the stars to make them even more powerful totems to bring into your own sacred space. 
Visit BahadiLife.com to browse the apothecary. And don't forget to follow Jessica on Instagram at Bahati Life, where she posts daily messages to uplift, inspire, empower, and to remind you of your magical potential along your magical journey. Blessings to each and every one of you. I'll see you there.